This is the second part of a two-part video that I really had no intention of making a second part to. It was just going to be a one-time video, but you guys kind of demanded it, so here I am. If you missed the first one, you should really watch it before watching this. I'll put a link to it up in the corner there, so click on that, go watch that, and then come back here. Uh, for those of you that refused to do that, or if it's just been a few weeks since you saw that video, uh, what I did in it was... I was testing to see what the optimal amount of grit to put in a three pound tumbler barrel was. So I put three, four, five, and six tablespoons of grit in the barrels. And I ran them for a week, I weighed it before and after, and I thought that these were gonna come out uh, with, with more grinding happening than the, than the one with only three tablespoons. And what happened was really surprising is they all came out about the same. Uh, there was a little bit of variation, but uh, it, my conclusion was that putting in three tablespoons was the best plan because any extra was just wasted. So, of course, I had people uh, saying, what about two tablespoons? What about one tablespoon? What about a half tablespoon? And those are really good questions, I'll admit it. And the other criticism I got is that I only ran the experiment one time. So I, I just ran it for a week and I did it one time and people said I should have done it four or five times, which I also agree with. Uh, but to do this, I have to weigh every single rock in, in every barrel. So it's, I think, over 200 rocks that I weighed. Uh, and it just takes forever. So I'm going to do it again. Uh, this time I'm going to do one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three and four. Uh, the three and four will be a second trial of what happened the first time. Uh, the one and two are new things. And the rocks are the exact same desert jasper that I used the first time, which means they're all a little bit smaller. Uh, I ran them for a week, and then some of them I think I ran for a second week. Um, and so they're, they're all just a little bit smaller and, and getting kind of borderline too small. But I'm going to use the same amount of water, the same 60-90 grit, and at least we'll get, uh, even though they're not exactly the same, we'll get two trials on the three and four tablespoons. And then I think I'm going to do a second week. We'll have to kind of play it by ear. But in a second week, I've got some Baia agates, which are about the same hardness as these. And they're bigger, so I'm going to mix in some of those bigger ones with the bigger ones of these. Uh, so it's going to be different, but it'll still give us another uh, piece of data to look at. So I'm going to get these filled up, put them on the tumbler, and then uh, we'll be back after a week. Uh, it'll just be a second or two for you, but a week for me. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, the first week of testing is done. I dried everything off really well. I've weighed it all up and the results are in. Uh, the barrel with one tablespoon of grit only lost 4.2% of its weight. Uh, the two tablespoon barrel lost 6.1%. We had 6.1% here also, and this one was 6.3%. So these were all about the same. This one is clearly less. Uh, but I'm going to load all these back up again. Uh, I need to weigh everything. I'm going to add in some Bahia agates, which are a little bit bigger. And uh, I'll throw them on the tumbler and we'll do it again. I will show you what they look like before I put them in the barrels though. Okay, here's what's going in the second round. Uh, we got Bahia agates from Brazil. And I counted and weighed them. So each pile has the same number of agates of the same weight. And then still got the Desert Jasper from Madagascar. And I reweighed these so uh, each pile has the same number of rocks of the same weight. So I'll throw those in the tumbler and we'll check back in a week. The week two results are in and I gotta say I'm pretty disappointed because they're not like week one at all, which means there's probably gonna be a week three, which means I get to weigh all these darn rocks again. Anyhow, here's what we got. Uh, the one tablespoon barrel lost 2.8% of its weight. The two tablespoon barrel lost 3.8% of its weight. 5.9% here and 6.6% here. Uh, so. This is what I thought was going to happen originally, that the more grit you put in, the more weight you're going to lose. And uh, I guess you guys were right. I should have done more than one trial. So here I am going on three trials. I'm going to load all these back up and we're going to do it again. All right, week three is done. The barrel with only one tablespoon of grit lost 2.8% of its mass. Uh, this one lost 
5.5% and 5.6%. And if you put all three weeks together, on average, the barrels with one tablespoon lost 3.3%. Uh, these were 5%, 5.8%. And 6.2%. So if you just look at that, it looks like if you use more grit, you grind more rock. Uh, but if you look at the numbers carefully, as we go up one tablespoon at a time, each time we increase by a tablespoon, there's a little bit of a less increase in grinding. Uh, it's easier to see on a graph, maybe. Um, so at first, when you add a tablespoon, you get quite a bit more grinding, and then it's a little bit more grinding, and then it's not very much more grinding on that fourth tablespoon. But there's another way to look at this. If you just look at how efficient the grit is, and you don't look at any other factors, uh, you're going to find out that you get more grinding per tablespoon of grit with less grit. So in the three weeks that I ground these rocks, I used three tablespoons of grit. And if you divide how many grams were lost by how many tablespoons of grit, it turns out to be 26.7 grams of, uh, of rock lost per tablespoon of grit. And when we go up to two tablespoons, it's only 20.2 grams of rock lost per one tablespoon of grit. And for each tablespoon I used in this, these barrels, uh, we lost 15.8 grams, and here it was only 12.6 grams. So if you don't worry about your time and you don't worry about electricity, this is the most efficient use of your grit. But if you're more worried about how much time it takes, you don't want to wait weeks and weeks and weeks, and you want to get stuff done faster, then this is the best way to go. So the trick is to find kind of a happy medium. And I'm going to stay with three tablespoons of grit. I think that's the best balance for me. And you might decide something different. You've got the data, so you can make up your own mind. Uh, speaking of the data, I put the raw data for these experiments in the description of this video. So if you just look down there, you want to get all the numbers for yourself and crunch them by yourself, double check my math, uh, go ahead and do that. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.